Right, I wanted to do a um, product review video on this Nordstar ATV trailer. This is the one that's 12 and a half feet long, <clears throat> and um, it holds three ATVs. You can load it on sideways. There's ramps right here that attach to the front. You can take these off and hook them to the lip. Well, we have two machines, so we're going to load two machines right now. There's a gate in the back that makes for easy loading. So we'll load one on, up and after the other. So we'll load that one on, and then we'll get the other one on. So one of the great things about this gate is it's easy to lift up and there's two pins on it. There's one on each side that you pull in and there's one on the other side that you can pull in. And you tip it forward and there it'll hold in place and it'll stay up by riding down the road. Also another great feature of this trail that I like, um, there's a lot of hooks to tie down your four wheels or whatever you might have on it and they're all over the place. There's kind of one in every corner on this rail, uh, there's one also near the front. Um, this trailer also has a parking light up front and it has LED lights on the back. And there's an LED light that lights up the license plate. Um, so this ramp is removable. There's pins, there's one on each side. There's a quarter pin that holds it in place. So if you needed to take it off, you could. And this is what it looks like when we've got two four wheels loaded on it. This is a Honda 450R. Uh, the one in the front is a Honda 250X. So they fit um, one in front of the other, obviously. And this is how much room you have to spare. Um, if we put them on the line way, it will hold three machines. These are the wheels that came with the trailer. Inside this cap, there is um, a Zerk spinning, so you can grease the wheels. And I purchased another wheel. For a spare and it attaches to the tongue um, and it just bolts right in place it did come with the bolts i just had to buy an extra wheel but it mounts right straight to the front and it has a two inch ball all right so what we'll do next is we'll show how to set up the ramps on the side so if you want to side load the trail with the foils they have two pins one here and one on the other side and they pull out really easy and then you just take the ramps off <coughs> and you can set them on the side of the bar, and they hook right on. So you just wanna. There you go. And there's like a lip on these. Let's show you. There's a lip, so it kind of grabs around that fast so they don't slide off on you. You got the other one, buddy? The other one. Take right, I'll help you put this on, then we'll load the machines. Alright, so these, this is what it looks like side loaded. We could definitely go up about a foot and a half to two feet in the front and uh, over another foot in the back. So there's plenty of room for three machines. And uh, if you wanted to put something in the middle uh, to go up to a trailer or a camp like firewood or stuff like that or a grill, <coughs> well, whatever it might be, there's definitely room in this trail. That's kind of why I bought a bigger one because uh, there's always room for that third guy that you might want to take along with you, uh, some good, some stuff for your camping trip. So what we'll do next is we'll pull out of here and we'll show you how it is to pull out. This four wheel is kind of a bear because it doesn't like to go slow. <laughs> so, anything could happen. We all lined up, bud. Okay. Alright, remember to always wear your helmet and be safe in doing this. So hey, hold on, let me get out of here. All right, so we're all unloaded once again, and uh, we hope you liked the video on this trailer and um, helps you know your decision whether you want to buy one of these or not. If you have any questions about it, definitely leave a comment, and uh, I'll reply back to you. Thanks for watching.